Hello, I'm Chris Williams from Read Comics, They're Bad For You, the name of my YouTube channel. Or, if you're watching this on BitChute, the name of my BitChute channel is Comic Freak. Today, we're going to be talking about The Last Jedi's Ryan Johnson says Empire Strikes Back disappointed him. We're going to go over this article plus another one. And we're going to be discussing the future of uh, The Rise of Skywalker. We're going to be discussing why The Rise of Skywalker will most likely be a massive bomb because of all the mistakes they have made and the arrogance of the creators that are currently heading the Star Wars franchise and how it is going to, well, it already has ruined Star Wars. How they're scrambling to do reshoots on The Rise of Skywalker at the last minute and that most likely what they're doing now will not save the movie at all. The movie looks to be bad, and we're going to get read these articles to know why. Ryan Johnson, Knives Out, Looper, Brick, and Star Wars The Last Jedi gave an interview during the 2019 Toronto International Film Festival where he was asked if he thought the trajectory of public opinion regarding The Last Jedi mirrored that of The Empire Strikes Back when it came out in theaters. Ryan Johnson was hesitant to talk with Uprox about the similarities and the differences between the two films. Although The Last Jedi was phrased by film critics and beloved by large parts of the audience, there is a significant and very vocal part of the Star Wars fandom that considers it the weakest entry in the saga, and the reaction to the story it told was very polarizing. I only speak for myself, but I have to hate all these movie reviewers when they give these sort of two-faced reviews, saying a large part of the audience loved The Last Jedi. That wasn't a large part of the audience. Those were SJWs, and they were a very small part. The critics loved it because they were paid off. Johnson explained his hesitation by saying that he didn't feel that he had to defend anything, but that he distinctly remembered being disappointed by The Empire Strikes Back when he saw it as a kid with his parents for the first time. So you're so arrogant you don't feel that you have to defend anything like your movie, The Last Jedi. And, of course, you were disappointed by The Empire Strikes Back. All kids were disappointed in that movie. Not that it was bad. It's just that it's a, at the very end, seeing, well, Luke get his hand cut off and seeing him defeat was a hard thing to see. But in his own words, Luke gets symbolically castrated by his father. Johnson said, it sticks that way. That's the point. That even though at the time I had the reaction to it, it stuck in me and it resonated with me. Oh yeah, it struck with you and it resonated with you. If it did, you would have made a much better movie than The Last Jedi. I think that anything with a passionate following always has a passionate following, and Star Wars is that. Even more so, you can't be angry at one side of it when it's the reason the positive is so passionate. You know it's all part of the same thing. And it always was like this basic thing. That's why I love it. You say you love it, but if you did love it, you would have made a much better movie because you would have respected the material. I'm only saying this because it just sounds like he's shilling so badly and being so arrogant in his response there, huh, folks? The other article we're going to be looking at, Rumor Massive Scrambling Inside Star Wars The Rise of Skywalker Production. Lately, we've been hearing a lot of Star Wars rumors and that Star Wars has been, well, both editing and reshooting the ending of The Rise of Skywalker to, well put together something that won't completely bomb, as I've said before in other videos. And I have to say, from what I'm hearing and what I'm seeing, they're not going to succeed. Disney is going to fail massively with the rise of Skywalker. <sighs> from the rumors that uh, Palpatine is Rey's grandfather, to the rumors that Carrie Fisher is going to be back as a first ghost as well as Luke, to, well, the fact that Han Solo is going to be apparently a force ghost. The production of The Rise of Skywalker is all over the place, and it's, well, that's a telling sign when you hear a movie with such a troubled production. The movie usually blows and blows hard. Let's get into this article. A new rumor indicates there is a massive scrambling happening within Disney's Star Wars The Rise of Skywalker production. The rumor comes from YouTuber Doomcock, who states Lucasfilm 
just recommissioned three CGI studios and ordered double the workload they used before. He continues, this is ballpark 300 people working on CGI three months before the film drops. This is not usual. This is cutting it very, very, very close indeed. He adds, my source characterizes this as a huge bulk of emergency CGI. My source tells me that he or she doesn't know if it's because it looked bad or they changed something drastic in terms of the narrative. However, according to my source, despite the sparseness of the info, he or she possesses damn near half the technical artists around are working on Star Wars. And as we get into the article, we have to ask ourselves, this sounds bad, doesn't it? I mean, all these people working on it, it's amazing that Disney is being able to keep anything locked down with that many people working on this film and basically giving their opinions that this is a horrible mess. Doomcock speculates this is further proof that my earlier reporting is correct, that they are actually mixing and matching different endings and different elements of the story writing the damn thing in the editing bay. And what this tells me is that at the last minute, they have decided to go a different route with the story. In other words, they had filmed in the previous reshoots some variation on the Rise of Skywalker plot that they had not anticipated going through with. He continues, so now in desperation, they have decided that this neglected path of the plot is the path they need to go down. Ugh, this sounds like a complete train wreck. Oh, God. Continuing, a previous report from former LA Weekly Arts and Culture Entertainment Art Travena indicated Lucasfilm was undergoing reshoots for Star Wars The Rise of Skywalker. He noted things aren't looking good. Too many variables and audiences to please. In his own words, I'm being told that Disney is reshooting scenes for Star Wars. Don't quote me. Things aren't looking good. Too many variables and audiences to please. George Lucas's, as a creative consultant, seems like a very likely occurrence, though there's no telling how much say he'll have. Art, that F in Davana. Making Star Wars would follow up that report with one of their own, noting that Lucasfilm has been conducting secret reshoots for the past several weeks of the film, like I've said. However, they they dispute Lucas being brought on as a consultant, noting George Lucas has always been a consultant on the film. No, he hasn't. You kicked him off. As I understand, he has very little say in it, and for the most part was kicked off by Kathleen Kennedy. But getting back to this, so the rumors... It has to do with the production being in trouble doesn't ring accurate. As you can see here, another worthwhile example of a reporter on a movie shilling for a film studio so he can get a few more bones thrown for it to him. Uh, the production is clearly in trouble from all I've seen. All the reports of various, well... Audience is going to see, well, pre-screens of The Rise of Skywalker, and none of them are sounding like they've enjoyed it. And that the, each screen was completely different from the last. That they're basically going to edit and make this film in the editing bay, as they said in the article here. As Doomcock has said, they're making this movie and filming it in the editing bay, using all the film and all the footage they've shot to p try and stitch together a Frankenstein of a film. The ones who can be blamed for this film, The Rise of Skywalker, the mess that it is in, are the creators. And that's why I have the article with Ryan Johnson here. In his last film, The Last Jedi, when the part of the film was about kill the past if you have to, and now that that didn't work, they're going back to nostalgia. Apparently because they didn't respect it, and even even the article where he said didn't was disappointed in The Empire Strikes Back, he didn't learn the lesson from it. That a film can have a harsh message, and that's a given, but the film at least has to respect Yes, respect, because Disney completely disrespects Star Wars. It thinks it can just crank out these movies and make money, but they don't get the core message of Star Wars. From George Lucas, he just wanted to make a, uh, an adventurous fantasy serial. The, you know, those that like those serials of fantasy movies they did in the 30s and 40s, that's what he wanted to do. Where Disney doesn't understand it, they just see it as some way to make money. So they give this 
to people who don't know how to respect the past or come up with new and better ideas. No, they come up with lens flares and they disrespect and tear down things and they use their arrogance as a way to, well, try and deflect blame from them if they do anything wrong and ruin the movie that they were entrusted with and arrogantly put agendas in there because they want or they feel so meaningless in their own life, the only way they can make themselves feel better is try and change the world. But most of the time, these people don't even believe in these agendas or messages they put in it. They just tr sell it because they, they, they think it will make them feel better, or at the very least, it'll make other people cheer them on so they can feel, well, well-being and have a sense of satisfaction because they're not getting it anywhere else. Now, if you like this video, subscribe. Make sure you're still subscribed because YouTube is going around unsubscribing people. So please make sure you are still subscribed. Subscribe to me on YouTube at Read Comics. They're bad for you, the name of my YouTube channel. Then go over to BitChute and subscribe to my BitChute channel, Comic Freak. Hit that bell for notifications. Hit that like button and leave some comments down below. And could you please share this video? Share it on Twitter and share it on YouTube or share it in anywhere else you think it would do the most good. Because YouTube is also not promoting their creators videos anymore and it would really help me if you could please share this video and keep checking back in future videos for more information on my own upcoming independent comic book scum dogs here i go again plugging my own comic book huh folks i'm chris williams and i'll be back again tomorrow with another video or review